Last week, your votes put Chris and John Deep in the bottom two. And the Lord was not amused. Well, this is not the right result tonight. Both of you should be with us. I'll save Chris. Leaving John Deep devastated. I'm furious about this. But tonight, it'll be a Joseph Massacre, as not one, but two will leave the competition. None of us are safe. I'm not scared. I'm going to fight for just as hard as everybody else. I can't afford to get complacent in school. I'm not going to let myself down, and I'm not going to let my family down. Let the battle commence, as there can be only one Joseph. And ultimately, that decision is down to you. I close my eyes. Next. <laughs> The nightmare begins for our remaining ten finalists on Any Dream Will Do, because it's double elimination night, meaning not one but two Josephs must leave the competition. The fans are most definitely fired up. The band are live and dangerous. The panel is tense, and the Lord is truly paranoid. In the next hour, our first Joseph will be knocked out. The lines are open now, so hurry and get calling. They're here and desperate for your votes. Please welcome our final ten. might be go 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 Joseph but tonight two more will be gone 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 I tell you they're on shakier ground than the people of Kent because at the end of this show we'll have the first of our nail-biting sing-offs between the two Josephs with the least amount of votes Andrew will only be able to save one of them then later on in our results show a quarter to ten there'll be a second sing-off and another Joseph will be sent packing the lines are open so you must vote now to keep your favorite in the competition offering their expert guidance is the panel please welcome Torchwood star John Barrowman <laughs> Talking vocal coach Zoe Tyler, <laughs> theatre producer and Everton chairman Bill Kenwright, <laughs> West End and Broadway goddess Denise Van Outen, <laughs> and the phantom genius himself Andrew Lloyd Webber. <laughs> Oh, the tension. Now, you at home got it right first time round when you chose Connie Fisher to star as Maria. But the big question troubling Andrew now is whether lightning can strike twice. After receiving rave reviews from Andrew and the panel, Chris Barton still received the lowest number of votes last week, turning Andrew Lloyd Webber into angry Lloyd Webber. Well, I really want to say I'm furious about this. This is the first time in the entire series that we've had, you know, if you include the Maria, where I completely disagree with what the public did. Ooh, be afraid, be very afraid. Uh, now, Andrew, you clearly thought Chris shouldn't have been in that bottom two. Are you worried that tonight the wrong Josephs might be going home? Yes, of course I am. Um, but I'm very worried this week because I worked with all with Denise on Wednesday, and I was very shocked by how unprepared they were 
for what they actually did in terms of the singing. So we've got to get real because we've got to remember that what I have to do is to find a Joseph who the public are going to be prepared to pay to go and see. We can't have what we saw this week, a load of the boys sort of getting very wimpy and saying, oh no, I didn't really know, I didn't know what I was going to be told to do, uh, and, and then getting sort of all paranoid. No, we can't have that. But what I will say, and I will stand by this, is that the ten boys we've got are as good if not better than our Maria's and they just need to shape up tonight. All right, they've got to show us that they're brilliant. All right. The story goes, the story goes that Joseph, uh, in the story, was perfect. Uh, he was good-looking, he was confident, he was certainly not afraid to dress up in brightly coloured over-the-top clothes and look like an idiot. I wonder what that must feel like. <laughs> Tonight, our Josephs will be performing uh, great pop songs by classic male artists to prove they have showmanship and stage presence. Have our first Josephs got it? Let's meet Seamus and Lewis. <laughs> I am bored about references to the fact that I am older. This week I'm doing a Stone song. Mick Jagger, 60 whatever he is, 70. How old is he now? I mean, if he can do it, I think I can do it as well. You know, I've done sung at weddings, sung backing with Shaken Stevens and Rod Stewart. I've been in a band for the last few years. Bit of a show off, but that goes down very well. Once he takes off, yeah, it can't happen for that. You know, the younger guys won't have had experience with doing gigs. I can, you know, I can rock the studio. That's what it's about. This is rock and roll. Well, since the competition started, my nana has become more famous than I have. He's fantastic every week to me. And if he gets right to the end, oh, I'll explode! <laughs> and she's been going out and about in Middlesbrough to try and get people to vote for me. <laughs> Robert the curtain. <Ooh. laughs> my nana's working just as hard as I am. And she's even been on the radio. Cleveland, vote for Lewis. Don't forget. I want to make his dream come true. Because he deserves it. What, Louis? Thank you. If I get thrown out, then what all else will my nana do with herself on a Saturday night? <laughs> uh, Andrew, I have to say, if Lewis is ever in the sing-off, I'd save him. You don't want Nana Jean after you. Yeah, we said no, they want that. <laughs> then he wins, she's got to explode. Hey! Uh, now, <laughs> what, what should we be looking out for tonight in all of our Joseph's performances? What's tonight's challenge? Two words, star quality. And then acting, and then being able to hold an audience in a West End theatre. It's so important that we remember that and everything that we see. OK, it's a big ask, but, oh, well, by the way, and if you're a digital viewer and want to sing along with all our Josephs tonight, press the red button now for all the lyrics. Mmm, good. OK, <laughs> let's bring on our Josephs. No more mention of his age. First up, it's 35-year-old Seamus. <laughs> He's aiming to knock you out with this rendition of the Rolling Stones classic, Start Me Up. Squaring up to him is Lewis. The apple of his nana team's eye will be singing the Beatles song, I Saw Her Standing There. Could Seamus or Lewis be your Joseph? Here's Seamus!
Chambers! Well done, guys. What a great start. Now, there's a brilliant, brilliant atmosphere here in the studio tonight, but we do know that two Josephs are going home. Uh, Lewis, was that on your mind as you prepared for this week? Yeah, this week has been so tough, but <laughs> got up our game every single week. <laughs> and now, Seamus, we know that in the past you've sang uh, backing vocals for Rod Stewart and Shaking Stevens. Now, which of those two fabulous artists do you think found time to send you a good luck message? Um, I don't know which one. Let's have a look. Hi, Seamus, Shaky here. First on tonight, you rock for me, now you rock for them. Go and show them. All right. Um, thank you very much, Shaky, for doing that. <laughs> All right, awesome. let's, see. let's see if the panel uh, share his views. Uh, Bill, now you actually worked with the boys this week. Did you see them taking on any of the notes you gave them? I'll tell you what, Andrew, they certainly upped the stakes for you tonight, those two boys. Seamus, I'm beginning to get it. I have thought from the word go, you are special. You've got a great talent, a great voice, a great look. But I've never quite understood the journey. And I know why. You don't understand the journey either. You don't know how good you are. Your honesty sometimes comes across as arrogance. I don't think you're arrogant at all. I think you're scared stiff. Well, you're going to have a few more scared nights because you're <laughs> going to be around in this competition for a long time. You are so special. <laughs> Lewis, for a 17-year-old, you are a frightening, frightening talent. What I've always wanted from you is to see the boy or the man behind the song. Tonight I saw it. You got out of that comfort zone. You stopped <laughs> concentrating. You love this audience. You boys, you're going to be there for a long time. Oh, what a great oh. start. Please, Andrew mentioned star quality earlier. Did you see star quality in these performances? I certainly did. So, first of all, I'm going to start with Seamus. I agree with Bill. I think you are special. But the thing is, I think you know it, and I think you do have to be a little bit careful because sometimes your confidence can come across as you being a little bit too cocky. And if you do that, you don't want to start me up. You want me to switch off. So you just have to be a little, Ooh. little bit careful. And what about Lewis? OK, Lewis, I think a fantastic performance. Your confidence is growing week after week. One thing you have to be careful of when you perform is you have a tendency to sort of bend your knees and you look a bit like a tarantula, so you need to stand tall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tall. That's I know, but don't, don't hide He's behind your height. Yeah. Yeah. Use it to your advantage or and own the stage. Let's go to Great. Andrew. Could either of these be the pop star Joseph you say you're looking for? Well, yes, in different ways. I mean, Seamus, there's one thing I don't quite get it. I mean, if you're 35 and not a star already, something has happened and I don't get that. That's the one thing I, I have to ask. No. Although your hair looks better than, on you than Leo's hair. Um, <laughs> she was just 17, you know what I mean. One of the great couplets in the English language, in my view. You see, you said, and, I know. And, and you see, that kind of ruins the words. She was just 17, you know what I mean. That is fabulous. So, Lewis, the one thing I think between you and winning everything is just to think about words. I've seen it in the acting coaching lessons and everything that you've done. Just remember the words. That's a great lyric, OK? OK. All right, thanks, Andrew. Uh, if you don't want a favour to have their view code taken off them tonight, call 090-112120. Then add 01 if you think Seamus should be Joseph or 02 if you want Lewis to lead the cast. Lines are open now for all our Josephs, so get voting. Now, earlier this week, the boys had their first taste of the good life at the Spider-Man premiere. And our next two Josephs are hungry for more. It's Rob and Anthony. <laughs> You are as cute as a button. I was a schoolboy a couple of weeks ago. Now I've got people like ogling me <laughs> like a pinup boy. My man's an amazing dreamboat. Oh dear. That's it was crazy at the Spider Man 3 premiere. Everyone was going nuts. I think I'm a watergraph down. There's people walking around with pictures of me in their handbags. He's a bit hot. I won't say that too loud though, because my boyfriend's over there. <laughs> It's given me a taste of what it could be like in the West End, and it's made me want to strive to get it even more. Listen, Rotherham should be so proud of you tonight. <laughs> Rotherham's my town, and I, I love Rotherham to pieces. Can anybody watch the screen, please? It's Rob from Rotherham. Rotherham can see talent. We know he's going to win this. It is tough down here, and we are working very, very hard, but to know everybody's rooting for me back home is just the best feeling in the world. Can he win it? Come on, Rob. Do, Do it, it for Rotherham. Yes, he can win! He's got raw talent, passion, energy. I'll announce it to Bingo. Oh, they must you. They must go. If I get Joseph, that is just amazing. Some builder from Rotherham suddenly gets starred, and it is the, the ultimate dream. But will that dream come true? Are you going to put down his power tools and pick up that dream code? It's Rob the Builder! Rob is 24 today. Happy birthday, Rob. He'll be performing Roy Orbison's Pretty Woman. Following him is Anthony. The A-level student monster will be singing Patience if I Take That. Could Rob or Anthony be Joseph? Only you have the answer. Here's Rob! Pretty woman, walking down the street. Pretty woman, the 
So even if you haven't seen your favourite Joseph yet, you can still vote for them. Now, Rob, you're still at an age when you celebrate birthdays, and, uh, and your family are here with banners. Look at them over there. Look at that. And is, there, is there a cake? Oh, there's a cake. Even a cake. Oh. I've three today. I'm so proud. <laughs> Very good. Well, let's hope this doesn't turn into the worst birthday of your life. Uh, let's go over to the panel. Uh, John, are these two still serious contenders for the role of Joseph? I'm not really sure, because Rob, tonight, happy birthday. But tonight you oozed confidence, confidence, confidence. The only thing that worries me is that your raw talent, for me, might not hold together as good as your bricks and mortar. That's what worries me, okay? Well, you want to see my bricks and mortar, John. <laughs> <laughs> Son, you show me your bricks and mortar, and I'll tell you if it's going to be good enough. Anyway, it's dry walling. It's dry walling, whatever, it's building. <laughs> Anthony, you look great on camera. My partner thinks you look great, half the audience thinks you look great. Tonight, you still look fabulous, but your vocal was awful. It was really bad. You sounded like you were howling wolves in from Alaska. Whoa. Okay. That, that's... Let, me, let me go to Zoe. Uh, awful. Is that fair? Come on. Yes. Do you know what, Anthony? You know I love you. You're a great guy to work with. I wish your voice was as beautiful as your looks, but it's not. And you know what? I've got to be... I know it's not. Do you know what? I'm sorry. If I was sat in the audience and you were Joseph tonight, I'd be petrified, honey. And I don't want to be petrified. And it's not fair for the audience paying £70 or whatever it is a ticket to be petrified with you hitting those notes, darling. If you're still in, you need to do more work, more work. Can I just go to, yeah, what to Rob? Rob? Rob, happy birthday, love. Um, I wish all my singing pupils... <laughs> I wish all my singing pupils progressed as quickly and as fast and as furious as you. Sorry. All right. Very, very mixed reviews. We have a builder, a student. Do we have a Joseph? Possibly not, but Rob, I will say one thing. Um, you really can take notes. Difficult to do that song, uh, particularly as it's been cut and it's a real story. So who are we talking to now? No, we're talking to Rob. Rob. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's very difficult because I mean, you take notes brilliantly, but the song was cut somewhat, so the story is not quite there. Um, your voice is there. I'm not quite sure that you could be a Joseph. And I've got to be honest with you, Anthony, um, it wasn't greatly in tune tonight. I know you know it, don't you? Yeah. 
Yeah. I know. <laughs> so, I mean, I have to worry about whether you could do it eight shows a week on stage. I'm being honest. Okay. Well, do you agree? The lines are open. If you want Rob or Anthony to have a shot at West End Stardom, call 09011-2120, then add 03 for birthday boy Rob, or dial 04 if you want Anthony to have a happy return. Some people here definitely do. Now, tonight, you don't have to wait for your favourite Joseph to perform. You can vote for them now. Here are the numbers to dial. Call 09011-2120, then add 01 for Seamus. 02 for Lewis. Add 03 for Rob. Add 04. Anthony is your Joseph. 05 for Chris. For Ben, add 06. For Daniel, dial 07. If Lee is your Joseph, add 08. Dial 09 for Keith. And add 10 for Craig. Our next two Josephs are sing-off veterans, as they've both been saved by the Lord once before. Now, one has managed to win over the public, but has he lost Andrew's support? Whilst the other has the support of Andrew, but not you at home. I'm very confused. It's Chris and Ben. <laughs> you fantastic tonight. Tingle from there, right down there. Chris, you're my Joseph. The least popular Joseph is Chris. Chris. <laughs> it was unexpected. I wasn't expecting it. I don't know what the judges see in me and what the public don't see in me. Sorry. I felt ashamed to be in the bottom two and knowing that all my family was sat there and my friends. If you're on a line under it and you start again, OK, tomorrow's a fresh week. I'm definitely going to come back fighting. I know for a fact there's no doubt in my mind I could go on as Joseph tomorrow. I'm not going to let myself down and I'm not going to let my family down. Well, Saturday night was, was a shock. I don't think it was a great vocal from you tonight. You're just not controlling your voice. You've got a long, long way to go if you're going to stay in this competition. Knowing that the public kept me in, regardless of, of the judges' comments, is, is an amazing feeling. I really, really need to nail my vocals this week. You can't afford to hit one more note out of tune. Spin! Because if you are in the sing-off, Andrew won't save you. Life is a roller coaster, just gotta oh. ride it. You know what? If you sing it like that on Saturday, you're going to blow the panel away. I know I can do this, and I'm going to show everyone out there that I do have what it takes to be Joseph. They've both got a lot to prove. Fighting for his place in this competition, it's Chris! This 20-year-old will be singing, tell her about it. Following him, it's Ben! He'll be performing Life is a Roller Coaster, and it certainly has been for him. Could Chris or Ben be your Joseph? Here's Chris!
well done. So I really feel for you guys. You're in a difficult situation. One of you as the panel, one of you as the audience support. To get further, you need both. You really do. So let's see how you're doing tonight. Uh, let's go to Bill first. Talk to me about these guys. What did you think? Chris, last week was horrible, and there's no one in this year tonight uh, more qualified to say you've got to put the pain of defeat behind you. And you <laughs> did. You did. I thought you tried a bit too hard. Totally understandable. You're doing it for your friends, your family, those who love you. I pray that the audience out there know how good you are, because we do. <laughs> ben! Ben, you cracked it. You got rid of the pain, you got rid of the facials, you stopped acting cool, and I'll tell you what, you were cool. I don't care if you haven't got the greatest voice in the world. You could be a Joseph, because you have got a smile, a talent, and you give it. Well done. Well done. Good. If I'll produce, Bill. John, do you agree? I do somewhat. Chris, you've been ill, I know, this week, and you had a bad week last week, but you've bounced back. I still thought you were... I thought you were a little tentative. I wanted to see you. Bill, I think she gave too much. I didn't think yeah. you gave enough, okay? But it's up for the audience to decide. But welcome back. Stop the crying now, okay? Yeah. Stop. Ben, Stop. I, for, I, I couldn't put my finger on why I like you so much, right? And I've just figured it out tonight. Job. That was the best performance you have done this series. And you know what it is I like about you? Because you love to perform, and that really showed that you love it. And I hope both of you are here for a yeah. long time. Okay. They have a lot to do. Have they done enough? Yeah, I'm going to start with Ben. I mean, you did us so much better tonight, and that was the best performance you've done for us. I'm so glad you're on the programme. So that's fabulous. And Chris, I mean, very much the best too. What worries me hugely about you playing Joseph, though, is that you do go to pieces and you get so terrified. You were so petrified on Wednesday when we worked with you that it really, really worries me what would happen when you suddenly see a big stage, a big theatre and a big audience. Can That's my reservation. Can I just say, Andrew, I respect everything you say, but I have to disagree. I'm so, I've just had a really tough week this week, but I promise you, if the public keep me in, I won't well, let you Well, you've got a big audience promise. tonight, and well done, both of you. Thank you. Okay. Remember, the lines are open. If you don't want your favourite Joseph to be the first to go home later, you have to vote now. Call 09011-2120, then add 05 if you want Chris to stay, or 06 if you want to keep Ben out of that sing-off. OK, double elimination isn't the only surprise the Josephs received this week. They also had an extra little surprise, and I do mean little. <laughs> Joseph, today is the mission day. In these boxes we have sent you is a clue to the mission. It's oh, oh, not club week this week. It's been scary. <laughs> 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 mm, one size fits all. More of that later, or should I say less? Uh, our next Josephs are the most experienced performers in this competition, and you could say the most ambitious. Here's Daniel and Lee. <laughs> It really kicked in. This is a competition. It's about raising your game and working hard. That's how it should be done when it comes to acting. My main competitor is Lee. The panel adore him. You know, I am slightly threatened by that. At this stage in the game, all the guys are competition, but if I'm being completely honest, I think Daniel is going to be my big competition. I think I've got the right look for the part. My voice sits perfectly for the part. I just think I'd, I'd be a, a great Joseph. I don't know whether Lee is a better actor than me. He's just finished in Phantom of the Opera. But I too have been in the West End. I've understudied Russell Watson in The War of the Worlds. And I've been in several UK tours of various musicals. If I'm going to win this part, I'm not going to worry about anyone else. I just try and stay focused and, and, and keep my, my eye on the goal. I think Daniel has by far and away the best voice in the competition. I think my voice is my strongest asset. And I think if anything is going to knock Lee off, his, off the pedestal he's on at the moment, I think it's going to be that. It's Dream Coats at Dawn. Performing first is aspiring actor Daniel. He'll be crooning the ladies of champ from the musical Pal Doey. After him is the under setting from South End, Lee. He's singing I Don't Want to Talk About It from the musical Tonight to the Night. Could Daniel or Lee be your Joseph? Who knows? Here's Daniel. She gets too hungry for dinner at eight. She loves the theater and never comes late. She never bothers people she hates. That's why the lady is a tramp. Doesn't like rap games with barons and earls. Won't go to Harlem in her mean and pearls. Won't dig the dirt in the and stop the girls. That's why the lady is a tramp. Likes to free fresh wind in her hair. 
life without care. She's broke and it's broke. Ace California is cold and it's down. That's why the lady is a crown. She likes the free, fresh wind in her hair. Life without care. She's broke and it's cold. Ace California is cold and it's down. Just a little bit longer. If I stay here, won't you listen to my heart? Oh, oh my heart. I don't wanna talk about. Just a little bit longer. If I stay here, won't you listen to my heart? Me and Daniel. Very good. Well done, guys. I can only apologise for giving you such a sleepy Josephine. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with that. <laughs> now, uh, you have both appeared in the West End, which, uh, on one level, I suppose, gives you an edge, but how does it affect the attitude of the other Josephs to you? I think um, people may think that there's a segregation because we've got more experience, but we're all mucking in together, and it's, you know... I mean, none of us have auditioned in front of Andrew and in front of seven million people, so, you know, it's a new experience for all of us, really. Absolutely. All right, well, let's see what the panel think. Uh, Denise. You've been a fan of both of these guys. How are you feeling tonight? Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm glad you started with me. I thought I was going to first. OK, first of all, Daniel, I think a very, very polished performance, fantastic vocal. It is time to make some noise for Daniel Boyd. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Now, Lee, I was a little surprised because vocally tonight you went flat a couple of times yeah, during no. the song. I know you've had some problems with your throat. However, there's no getting away from it. You're an absolute superstar. I loved you both tonight. Very, very good. Bill, do you agree? You know, Daniel, I was worried when I heard you were singing this song because I've always thought you had the greatest voice, but I was worried about the performance aspect. The song took you to another height. You nailed that song, yeah. and you won, won everyone over tonight. Well Thank done. You. Well done. Thank you so much. Lee, there is nothing more thrilling, believe me, for a producer to see a song beautifully performed. That was perfection to me. I thought he's losing his voice. I thought he's going to slip it, he's going to yeah, blow it. He's gonna, gonna I thought you were going to go bigger. And you didn't. You kept that wonderful truth you have. A song about two broken hearts, not just one. You have broken so many millions of hearts tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, Bill. Andrew, the thing is, great. We, I mean, great reviews again from the panel. We know these guys are good, but they've got to be right. Are they right for the role? Well, just first, can I just say how fantastic it is to have Nigel Wright in our wonderful live yeah. band? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, every, every single song live and so many changes of style. At which point I get to say how fantastic it was both of you took on songs sung by fav famous people. Sinatra, OK, I was worried. Ladies of Tramp is probably worried. one of the best-known songs. <laughs> you did it brilliantly. Thank Lee, you. well, come on, you uh, Rod Stewart did, didn't you? I mean, it was fantastic tonight. Um, you. And you didn't uh, do that obvious thing of go for the money note. You acted it, which I think is fantastic. I really uh, agree with Bill all the way along the line. OK, fantastic <laughs> reviews. Uh, but soon, the two least popular Josephs with you at home will face our first sing-off. Call 090-112120 and add 07 if you want to keep Daniel out of danger or add 08 if you want to see Lee stay in the competition. The lines are open for all our Josephs, so get dialing for your favourite.
Up next, the two young Scots who both want to make that big move to theatre land, but before they do, they've got a lot to prove to the panel. It's Keith and Craig. <laughs> Your diction is terrible. It's not because you're Scottish. It's about clarity of your words. This week, I'd say John is the person that I want to prove. He can understand what I say when I sing. You've been given a gift with that great voice that you've got, and the, the fact of the matter is, it's no good to anybody if we can't understand you. Remember when rock was young. I want you to do every word like this. I remember when rock was young. You have to think of it being in this part of your mouth. Musicals are about telling a story. If you can't understand what you're saying, there's no point. And that is why you must get this right. Remember when... No, no, no. Attack it. How can you forget what I've just told you 10 minutes ago? I'm going to try so hard and improve, and hopefully I won't be one of the ones gone home. And you deserve more. Craig, I need to see that spark, because OK won't cut it. You have to pull it out the bag on this live show, otherwise you're going to be gone. Perhaps you're right. I have been holding back a little bit. I'm just scared they might think I've gone over the top and gone back to being cabaret and maybe not right for Joseph. Now I'm back and not ashamed to cry. Overdo it. Overdo it all the time. Let them know you are having the best time of your life. Sign, seal, deliver, I'm yours. Nothing wrong with cabaret. Mm -hmm. Believe me, there's nothing wrong with cabaret. On Saturday, I'm going to take Bill's advice and really go for it, even though it is a risk. I just hope he's right. They're putting everything on the line. Time to meet the Mac Josephs. First up is Braveheart Thief. He'll be getting his seat into the Elton John Classic, Crocodile Rock. Following him is Edinburgh Club the entertainer Craig. He's performing sign seal delivered, but will he deliver tonight? Could Keith or Craig be your Joseph? I'll keep asking till you tell me. Here's Keith. I remember when Rock was young. Me and Susie had so much fun. Holding hands and singing songs. Had an old, old cherry and a place of my own, but the biggest thing I ever got. Now, uh, key thing is, we're three weeks into this now. It is a competition. Who do you think of as your main competition? 
Well, there's eight guys there and one guy here, but I'd say Daniel Boys would be the best. OK, Daniel. And, uh, Craig, last week, both John and Denise picked up on this lack of spark. Now, you make a living kind of entertaining people in clubs, so did that come as a, a kind of a shock, that comment? Yeah, it hurt a little bit, but I have been holding back, as I said, and, uh, you know, hopefully I was a bit more myself tonight and really let go and enjoy that. So. All right, well, let's see if you've turned the corner. John, harsh comments from both of them last week. Did they take note? Hurrah, they took the note. Yeah. Keith, yeah. Keith, you've worked hard. It was a hard week, and it paid off. Your diction now matches your voice. It was fantastic. Oh. But, uh -oh. but, now we got to work a little more on your movement, okay? <laughs> it was still good, Craig. Now, finally, finally, I see the Craig that I've wanted to see for the past few weeks. You're in, you're in that egg, and finally you're coming out of your shell. Thank goodness. I want you to be in this competition for a lot longer. You've got more to give. All right, now, Denise, you're nodding. I guess you agree. I totally agree with John, but I think <laughs> that as far as with the dancing with Keith, I don't see it as a problem. I think you move well. And let's... I don't see it as a problem. I just think sometimes he looks a little awkward when he does it. Do you? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. Audience, what do you think? Nah. I think he looks fantastic. Let's not forget we're auditioning for Joseph, not Billy Elliot. Okay. Well... That's what the audience think. Let's find out what the Lord thinks. Talk hey, to us about the Scots. Hey, we're talking about dance. What about the Josephines? I Aren't they fabulous? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, Keith, my poor boy. What else should be thinking? I remember when Rock was young. Well, you're thinking about Bill Kenwright and myself. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we're the only people who can remember that. Um, you did very, very well with the song that must have been very difficult for you. And uh, you also did move very well, I think. And you did make great sense of the lyrics. And you brought the house down tonight. So, bravo. Well done. Thank you. So, very, very good. Thank you. Uh, Craig, Craig, you know, it's only about uh, mannerisms. I mean, watch the show tonight when you get home, and you're still using some of those cabaret mannerisms, but you're losing them show by show. So, again, a very good performance. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Andrew. Well done, guys. Time is running out to keep your favourite out of our first sing-off. Call 090-112120 and add 09 if you think Keith should be Joseph, or add 10 if you think Craig has what it takes. Calls cost 25 pence from a BT landline, other operators and mobiles may vary. At least 12p is split equally between children in need and the musical theatre bursary. Here's a reminder of all 10 performances with the numbers you need to dial. Just a little bit longer If I stay here, won't you listen to my heart? Oh, lot of mama, Friday night When Susie wore her dress is tight And the crocodile rock came to his eyes Out of his eyes Oh, as I see the glitter bbc.co.uk forward slash joseph and download our fantastic podcast there too now remember the loincloths earlier mm. that was the first surprise for the josephs let's see what the next one was
My initial reaction is that I'm really happy. I'm a bit paranoid about the old love handles and things. I always walk around the house naked, so it's no chance for me. <laughs> Welcome to Lone Bluff, Anne. Just when they thought it couldn't get any worse, Andrew's invited their moms. Seeing our sons with next to nothing on, all the mums are a bit mixed feelings. This was at uh, my 40th birthday party. You can see he's got quite a nice pair of pecs. I think Chris has got a, a good body for Lone Bluff, yeah. <laughs> Ask me later. <laughs> when Lewis comes out there on the stage and sees me, I just hope he can uh, hold it together and stay focused and, and I don't put him off in any way. and tight at quarter to ten. You don't want to miss it. It even made me blush. Now, lines have temporarily frozen. Please don't call until we reopen them at the end of this show. If you do, your vote won't be counted and you will be charged and we wouldn't want that, would we? Okay, uh, before we reveal the results and find out what you think, let's get the panel's opinion. Panel, based on tonight's performances, who for you is Joseph? Zoe. For me, it's Keith. Phil. Between two, it's Lee. Yeah! Denise. Daniel Boys. <laughs> John. I'm making noise for Daniel Boys. <laughs> okay. Only nine Josephs can go through to our show later. Someone's dreams are about to come to an end. Okay. Your votes have been counted and verified, and I have the results right here. The two Josephs with the lowest number of votes so far this evening will have to perform in front of Andrew to stay in the competition. Chris, Seamus, Daniel, and Keith. Congratulations, you could all still be going. <laughs> Lewis. Rob. And Lee, you're also through to our second show. Please come down, Craig, Ben, and Anthony. Craig, Ben, and Anthony, two of you are in real danger and will be singing in front of Andrew. One of you is safe. Craig, you're in the sing-off. Where you are. Ben and Anthony, there's only one guaranteed place left. Ben, you're in luck. You could still be Joseph. Go and join the others. Which means, Anthony, I'm sorry, you are in the sing-off. Craig and Anthony, you two are the least popular Josephs with our viewers at home tonight. And I can reveal, if it were down to viewers' votes alone, the Joseph, who would be out of the competition right now, is... Craig. But, Craig, you still have a chance, as Andrew may decide to save you. You will now have to perform Everything I Do by Brian Adams and make this the performance of your life. Andrew, why this song? Great lyrics again, and it's a love song. You must convey that love tonight. All right. Remember, Andrew will be watching both of you very, very closely. Come on, Anthony, you will be singing first, then Craig. Here singing everything I do to win Andrew Lloyd Webber's casting vote and stay in the competition. It's Anthony and Craig! Look into my eyes You will see What you mean to me Search your heart Search your soul and when you find me there, you'll search no more. Don't tell me it's not worth trying for. You can't tell me it's not worth dying for. You know it's true. Everything. 
everything I do, I do it for you. Look into my heart, you will find there's nothing there to hide. Take me as I am. Okay, the first time for both of you in the sing-off, you've done a great job, but for one of you, it wasn't enough. Andrew, you must now decide. Well, I was Anthony or Craig, was who will you save? This is so difficult, I was looking at my panel then, because they were both great performances. But I think tonight, just on balance, I'm gonna save Craig. Well done, Craig. Go and join the others. Well done. Anthony, I'm so sorry. You've been fantastic. You've been our baby Joseph. You've done a great job. Are you surprised tonight you've ended up here? No, I expected it. Oh, well, I'm, well, I'm so sorry you have. A Andrew, why Anthony over Craig? Well, you've got so much future ahead of you, and you were really singing very well tonight. You really have. But at the end of the day, I have to come back to what I was saying at the beginning of the programme. I worry about what would happen at the end of the day if you were doing eight shows a week in the West End. But one day you will. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> we have every confidence of it, Anthony. You know what's coming. It's time to hand back your dream coat. OK, off you go. Anthony, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the lines have now reopened. Join me again at quarter to ten and we reveal who's next to crash out of the competition. Plus, our Josephs bear all in their most daring mission ever. But for now, it's time to say goodbye to Anthony. Poor, poor Joseph, what you gonna do? Things look bad for you. Hey, what you gonna do? Shut out the light If my life were important I would ask Will I live or die But I know the answers Lie far from this world Joseph, join us later at quarter to ten. Another Joseph's going home. Get voting. We'll see you at quarter to ten. Anthony! In the next half hour, another Joseph will leave the competition for good. Anthony's gone. Who will be the next Joseph to have the door closed on him? Only the Lord can save them now. I close my eyes. Next. Welcome back to Any Dream Will Do. The 
Well, both lines are still open, and what a night it's turning out to be. So far, Anthony has left the competition, and the prospect of Craig having to sing in front of Andrew for the second time this evening could turn into an awful reality. Here's what's been happening whilst you've been away. I'm going to save Craig. <laughs> Oh. And you're going to be on West Wednesday. I want to stay in here so much, and I'm just, I really, really hope people can help me stay here. I just, I just want it so much, you know. Get started. Come on, Scotland. Get your votes in. It's certainly been an emotional night so far. Coming up later, we'll be seeing how all our Josephs coped in that loincloth mission. And uh, stand by for another spectacular group performance. Let's welcome back the panel John Barrowman, <laughs> Denise Van Outen, Bill Kenwright. Zoe Tyler, and the Lord who moves in mysterious ways, Andrew Lloyd Webber. Oh, I think it was the fish. Uh, all your votes cast early this evening will be carried over. Uh, calls cost 25p, at least 12p is split equally between children in need and the musical theatre bursary. Check the website for details. Still deciding who to vote for. Here's a reminder of our remaining Joseph's performances with the numbers you need to call. A great talent, a great voice, a great look. If you're going to be around in this competition for a long time, you are so special. For a 17 year old, you are a frightening, frightening talent. I wish all my singing pupils progressed as quickly and as fast and as furious as you. I pray that the audience out there know how good you are, because we do. That was the best performance you have done this series. I'm just glad I've come with them, that I can do it as well. It's, it's an amazing feeling. It is time to make some noise for Daniel Boy. <laughs> Broken so many millions of hearts tonight. <laughs> if I stay here just a little bit long, well, great, I came with something shocking when you beat this case. It was fantastic. <laughs> oh, it was brilliant. I was buzzing. Lally Mama, Friday night with Judy Warford. Finally, you're coming out of your shell. Thank goodness. What a night of fantastic performances. And remember, your vote is the vote that could make the difference. The pressure's certainly on, and there are some people that understand the pressure of this kind of competition more than others. Isn't that right, Zoe Tyler? Zoe? <laughs> I'm sorry. You understand the pressure of performing in a competition, don't you? Yes, I do. Oh, yes, no. Do. <laughs> Kings Norton in Birmingham and singing Out Here on My Own, <laughs> Opportunity Not oh. for 18 year old Zoe Tyler. <laughs> on to bigger and better things, and not just your hair. Sadly, <laughs> the, the dress was never seen again. Uh, Zoe, did you win? Did you win? I came second, actually. Oh, Zoe. So I know how these guys feel. I can't <laughs> believe you showed that. Oh, my God. <laughs> you look good. Uh, in just a moment, our doses will be performing their special group number. Now, Andrew, this week, the boys got a, a taste of what it's like to yeah. work in the West End, because they went to see We Will Rock You. Uh, why did you send them there? 
Well, because my friend Ben Elton was involved with that as well, but I thought that they had to go and see what a real musical's like in the West End. As I said earlier, you know, in the first programme, I was worried about them I mean, last week, and I thought that they perhaps didn't realise how tough it was, and I got really quite angry with them. And they came up such a notch tonight, I'm very proud of them. Maybe well, they rocked, they were rocking. <laughs> well, let's see how they got on the West End. <laughs> London's West End. Ultimately, this is where one of the Josephs will step out to an audience of thousands. And after a tough week in training, what better way to remind them of what they're striving for than a trip to the theatre? To see, we will rock you. It was a fantastic example of how just to get it on stage and totally, you know, give it everything. We will rock you. I want to be in We Will Rock You now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Screw you Joseph, come on. <laughs> after taking in the show, the boys were invited backstage to meet the cast. Yeah. Hello, how are you doing? We were very excited though that you were in tonight. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, because we're like, yeah, the Joseph thread, like, yeah, the Joseph, and everyone's like really like giving it everything. You're being totally excited. A lot of you might feel that you're losing your voice because you're getting very nervous and very tense. You're going, no, seriously, I can't do it. And if you just relax, mm. so yeah. often it's just. I think you're brilliant, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fascinated by you. <laughs> it's lovely. It's lovely. It's because you're a real drive and you come and see other people do it, and it's just fantastic. I just want to be on that stage now and. Oh, this is such a buzz. After seeing how the pros do it, I think we're all ready to rock the house. Yeah! So, will they rock you? Here performing the Queen Classic, One Vision, it's our Josephs! Sweet illusion, a glimpse of hope and unity, and visions of one sweet union. And a cold wind blows, and a dark wind falls. My heart is closed. Look what they've done to my dream. One flesh, one bone, one true religion. One voice, one hope, one real decision. Give me one love. Joseph, the lines have now closed. Please don't call as you will be charged and your vote won't be registered. Now, whilst we count your votes, let's find out how our Josephs fared in their mission this week. Andrew dealt them a triple whammy, performing the toughest scene from Joseph and the Amazing Technical Dreamcoat in front of their mothers in just a loincloth. <laughs> Earlier this week, the boys got a surprise gift for their first small piece of Joseph attire, the loincloth. I'm a bit paranoid about the old love handles and things. They always walk around the house naked, so it's no chance for me. <laughs> and who better to help Andrew check out the loincloth talent than Denise? Ooh. Wow! Hello, boys. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Andrew, yeah. first of all, can I just say thank you for inviting me to be on the panel? <laughs> what we want you to really, really focus on is the acting and the scene that you're going to play out today in front of us. You're at your most exposed, and then you face Pharaoh, chained and bound, afraid alone. Joseph stood before the throne. My service to Pharaoh has begun. Tell me your story, mighty one. The Joseph you choose will have to perform this scene in front of thousands. But to break them in slowly, unknown to the boys, Andrew's invited his own distraction, their moms. I'm sure Anthony will have no problem whatsoever showing his body off. He'll be absolutely fine. I think Rob will absolutely love being on stage in a long toss. When Lewis comes out there on the stage and sees me, I just hope he can uh, hold it together and stay focused. He'll definitely give the other boys a run for the money. First up is Keith, who still has no idea his mom, Irene, is waiting on the stage. What a surprise! <laughs> 
Come on, kids, she's seen it all before. Anthony doesn't seem phased at all. Hey, Anthony. Hello, it's me, Anthony. My, my, my. <laughs> you look good. Don't go. Noble King, there is no doubt what your dreams are all about. All these things you saw in your pajamas are cool. a long range forecast for your farmers. But who this man The Josephs seem to be rising to the challenge. I don't know. Well done, Rob. Thank, Thank, so Thank you, Dean. Thank you. Well, some of them. The future doesn't look so bright. It's just luck. It doesn't Across the land, and learn. <sighs> a small child could learn that quicker than they have. Just hope it doesn't spoil that chance. <laughs> The pressure of the loincloth, the moms, Andrew and Denise, has all taken its toll on the boys. Seamus, Seamus. What's gone wrong? Uh, the lyrics. I've forgotten the lyrics. Again. Yeah, I realise that. Yeah. Uh, that's fairly obvious. That's great for now. We'll see you on Saturday. OK. Thank you. If he doesn't know, as a singing teacher, that you've got to set an example to your students and your kids, well then, he's not a Joseph for me. I was disappointed that he forgot his words, you know, and... As Sir Andrew said, well, at this stage, they shouldn't forget their words. After that, the fields are... Mm. Sorry. Chris. Stop. It's just not like me at all. I've just had a bad week. But that still doesn't mean to say that you couldn't know the words. Today's just probably the day that's not my career. The awful truth is, is that you see that, you know, it's going to be very, very difficult when he suddenly sees the inside of a major West End theatre. We always thought that the boys would be tougher than the Maria's. But they're not. Maybe these guys need to kind of um, shut them up. And get ready for more tears. It's time to ask the panel, based on tonight's performances, who was not Joseph? Zoe. Craig. Bill. So much not for talent, but suitability, Rob. Denise. Crispy. John. Raw talent, bricks and mortar. Rob. Well, that's what the panel think, but do you agree you didn't last week? Nine Josephs left, but there are only seven guaranteed places in next week's live show. Another Joseph's West End dreams are about to end. All your votes have been counted and verified. I will now announce the results in no particular order. Daniel. Congratulations, you could still be Joseph. <laughs> Keith. You're also safe. Well done. <laughs> Rob. You could also still be Joseph, join the others. <laughs> Lee. You're also through to next week. <laughs> Lewis. You could still be Joseph. Off you go. Chris. Congratulations. You could still be Joseph. Please come down. Seamus, Craig, and Ben. Two of you were the least popular with our viewers at home and will be in tonight's sing-off. But one of you is safe. Ben. I'm sorry you are in the sing-off. Wait where you are. Seamus and Craig. Only one guaranteed place left in next week's show and there's only one place left in the sing-off. Seamus. 
you're in the sing-off. Which means, Craig, you could still be Joseph. Congratulations. Go and join the others. <laughs> so, Seamus and Ben, you two are the least popular Josephs. Now, one of you received the lowest amount of votes tonight, and if it were down to viewers' votes alone, I can reveal that Joseph, who would be going home now, is... Seamus. <laughs> but, Seamus, there is still hope, as Andrew may decide to save you. To stay in the competition, you must now perform the Hollis classic, He Ain't Heavy, He's My Brother. It's a song you've all been rehearsing. None of you wanted to sing it. Andrew, what are you going to be looking for here? Once again... It's acting the song, making a great deal of emotion out of that lyric. It's an emotional lyric. Go for it, boys. Andrew will be watching both of you very, very closely. Seamus, you will begin the sing-off, and then Ben, here, singing He Ain't Heavy, He's My Brother, to impress Andrew Lloyd Webber and win his casting vote. It's Seamus and Ben. <laughs> us to who knows where, who knows where, but I'm strong, strong enough to carry him, he ain't heavy, he's my brother. His welfare is my concern No burden is he to bear We'll get there That was an extraordinary sing-off. Absolutely brilliant job. Well done. But unbelievably, for one of you, it wasn't oh, enough. Wow. Yeah. Andrew, you've got to decide. Seamus or Ben, who will you save? The plot thickens in this Joseph competition. What an extraordinary sing-off. I asked for emotion, and I got it. But at the end of the day, I thought greatest performances were both of you. Tonight I'm going to save Ben. <laughs> Congratulations, Ben. You want to go and join the others? Seamus. Seamus. <laughs> It was a shock. It was a shock that you were in the bottom two, and, and now you're out of the competition. Uh, are you, you must be surprised. Uh, yeah, the word's conspiracy theory. I can't well, well, my head, but, Andrew, um... Andrew, why, why did you save Ben rather than Seamus? Well, Ben really came through with his vocal performance tonight. I, I saw the audience and the reaction to the panel. There's no question. <laughs> but I'd like to say one thing, because I'm surprised, Seamus, that you've gone tonight too. Really surprised. And there's one thing, I mean, OK, you're the oldest person in the competition. You deserve to go further. There's some reason, somewhere, somehow, that you haven't. But you, tonight, must make this a stepping stone right. to really do it. Seamus, I'm sorry you're not Joseph. You know what's coming. 
Okay, so there you have it. Seamus is not Joseph, and now just eight boys remain. That's all for tonight. Join me again next Saturday at 7.45 here on BBC One. Once again, our Josephs will be battling it out for the chance to become Andrew's next leading man. But for now, I leave you with Seamus to say goodnight. See you next week. Every door to me, hide all the world from me, bar all the windows and shut out the light. If my life were important, I would ask, will I live or die? But I know the answers lie far from this world.